Vehicles have continued to be a leading pollutant in Rwanda, which is why the country is committed to using alternative energy sources to fossil fuels. All these vehicles can sometimes be a problem, making it hard to breathe. All that smoke can sting your nostrils. Rwanda imports more than 40 million litres of petrol and diesel every year, and importers insist that all the fuel they bring in meets international quality standards. Before to distribute to our customers, uh, they have to take sample and then test if that products are matching with those standards. Those standards are East African standards. So we assure our customers that the product which we are uh, giving them are standards on a international uh, standards as well on East African standards. Officials at the Rwanda Standards Board have confirmed that all petroleum products are tested to establish that they do indeed meet the required standards. Now uh, the petroleum product that we are having uh, uh, is complying with the 50 ppm and as a target uh, in 2024 uh, when you look at uh, standard perspective, uh, we are, we are uh, committed uh, to, uh, to, to be at 10 ppm, from 50 ppm up to 10 ppm. This is uh, giving us a, 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 a task to uh, upgrade even our laboratories to make sure that we are able uh, to test all those products entering the country. Rwanda's efforts to reduce the pollution that comes from such products have been paying off, with those imported into the country now containing just 50 parts per million of sulphur, down from as much as 500 ppm, the goal being to bring down the figure to 10 by 2024. Around 5 million people around the world die of respiratory illnesses annually, increasing the need to address the problem of air pollution. Looking at the, the global trends, we, we, we are hoping that there's a very uh, significant shift from investments. Uh, most of investments are now going to be very sensitive and green and, and inclusive to climate actions. But also not, not only that, uh, there is quite a number of big coalitions uh, globally, uh, from financial institutions to research and academics, to developing uh, states and, and, and cities, they all came together under an umbrella called Race to Zero, which means they actually want to start a race to achieve uh, net zero carbon emission by 2050. Other pollutants in Rwanda include factories, the construction industry, factory-grade fertilizers, gases from landfills and more.